Hey all, Simone here with Bulletproof Startups. How are you doing? Kind of cold here. I'm still in Nashville. One more day and then I'm gonna drive across the country and um, get to California where it's hopefully a little bit warmer. But I've had kind of an awesome week. Lots of really interesting problems to tackle. And I thought I might share something with you that might help you as you go along. Cause I just got off the phone with one of my clients and uh, their young company and when I say young, I mean pre-series A. And um, they were really, really struggling. And uh, we were just trying to tackle their problem. So one of the things that happened when we first met, they were really close to um, having to shut down because they were so close to running out of money. So, and, and I could see whatever was, there was so much going on for them. Hi, Sarah. There was so much going on for them that was really tripping them up. So we really had to kind of move fast and figure out, you know, what what can we do immediately to save their hide? So for one thing, they had to go and raise a little bit of money so that we could actually extend the runway a little bit because they needed more time than they had. So the CEO went back in and he got enough money so that they could keep working for like the next six months. And, um, you know, I know for a lot of you guys that six months runway is going to sound amazing, but that is actually not that much time when you look at there's a lot of turnaround that you have to make happen. So it was pretty scary for them. They felt like it was touch and go and uh, we really had to work fast to get this going on. So what we had to do is in my program, a lot of times we, we take everybody we start in the beginning and we take everybody, we look at, you know, what, where are the biggest pain points right now? What do we have to fix immediately so that we can get results fast? So, which is really different than a lot of other people do this, where you kind of just do the same, everybody does the same thing, but we want to make sure it's customized that you can really turn things around fast when you need it. So what we did for these guys is we had to first go in there and kill the sacred cows. And what I'm talking about is, is a lot of the projects that they had a bunch of projects that they were had been working on for a long time and they were valuable projects in the long run so a year from now or two years from now they'd make a really big difference but when you look at this from the short-term perspective it was draining a ton of their time and their energy and their resources and they weren't working on the stuff that really actually could push the company forward and extend that runway so that they actually could make it <laughs> to that longer term goal. So we had to go in there and kill the sacred cows first thing. And then the second time, second thing we had to go do from there is we had to go and really prioritize their projects. And when I look at that, I usually ha I have a couple of different methods that I use. Like one of them is first of all, figure out, you know, what, what is always, what is the 20% that's driving the 80% forward, right? So really go through the 80, 20, and then do it again. What's the 80, 20 of the 80, 20. So you really prioritize what is pushing the company forward right now. And then after we did that, we could really look at, you know, what, what are, I look at this couple different ways. Like what, first of all, what are the low hanging fruit? What's that stuff that's, easy effort, easy input, easy outcome. Then what's the more effort, but really good outcome in the medium term. So we drive that. And then the stuff that's long-term outcome, but a lot of effort, we put that kind of like in the third and then long-term effort and a lot of outcome, we put that on the back burner because that's stuff we can't focus on right now when we have to turn the ship around, right? So we prioritized everything. And then the next thing we had to do that was really important was dial in everybody's roles. And it sounds easy because a lot of times you think what you're doing, but then when you look at, you know, there's product, there's engineering, there's operations, there's growth, all this, all these people, every, every business area has to work together in a really synced way. And everybody has to be driving on the same projects in the same way at the same time with the same speed. So if we don't do that, we're just gonna get this disparity going on and the outcome is not what we're really, what we're really going for. So we have to really look at, you know, who are the people, what are their biggest contributions they can make right now, now at this stage of business and then drive that. 
and uh, get everybody really in line that way. So nobody was double dutying anyway. There was no gaps. There were no holes that were uncovered. So we had to make sure everything was covered in the right way and the best way possible. So everybody's working to cohesively towards the same outcome and this outcome had to happen fast, right? So we did that and then once we had that figured out, so now we had priorities. We have people working in the best way possible. And then the next thing is we have to get really clear about short-term and long-term goals. And that's where we go into the whole planning process that I talk about pretty often. So when somebody is in this place where there's not a whole lot of runway, we have to kind of step back and go, all right, so the long-term vision is still really, really important, but first we have to get really dialed in on the short stuff. Hey, David, on the short stuff, because otherwise we don't make it to the long stuff. So we, we really got that figured out so that we got really clear on what are we driving in the next four to six months that's going to push the needle for this company. And then once we have that, we can look further out and make sure that we actually know where do we win up. Where do we want to end up with this so that we're driving the right way, the right time, all the time. So after that, we have to make sure we optimize team effort. And what I mean with that is now that we have that short term plan, we have to make sure that we take it even shorter and we know that everybody knows what they're doing every single day of the week at all times. Because if you don't have that and you have somebody sitting around who's not doing anything or they're doing the wrong thing or they're working on a different project, you're wasting so much time and energy that you don't have right now. So making sure that everybody really knows, has a weekly plan to action all the time. And then the next thing after that is that we stay super tightly connected. We have to build really, really tight communication. So all the different business areas are constantly clear on what are they driving together, right? So really tight communication so that we can be really nimble, we can be really focused, and we can drive what's most important right now. So it's kind of like, the, you can approach this two different ways. You can fix the foundation first and then build the house, or when the house is already partly built, make sure that's really strong before you pick it up and you fix the foundation. So that's kind of what we did in this case the, the house, was, house was partially built. We had to kind of make sure it was strong first before we could pick it up and strengthen the foundation. So now we can get to go back. Now that we have a little more runway, we have a little more time, we can go back and fix all that other stuff that is so important to getting a company right. As in like all the standards, all the internal things, making sure that the team is really tight and knows what they're doing. So. I always say make sure that you think differently all the time because what got you here is the thing that was really important to hear and now you have to start thinking more differently even so you can get to the next level. So sometimes you have to really go back and go it's not about how is it it's not about does this work to be for me it's about how does this work for me. So keep asking that question. How does this work for me? How can I show up? How can I contribute differently? How can I look at this just a little bit differently so I can drive this outcome in a better way? So anyway, you guys, hope you are having a fantastic week. If I have another amazing training that you can watch that's a little bit more detailed than this, you can go to bulletproofstartups.com and watch that training there. And I will talk to you next week.